have a new shell challenge going on, which means it's time for a speed build. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we have Sarah Ken Shell 4. It is my fourth ever shell challenge. I actually can't believe it's already been like three months since we did our last one. Like what's that about? But we have a brand new one and this one is decent. It's decently easy. If you remember my last one, it had a ton of diagonals on the exterior walls. And this one only has one diagonal, but it's in the interior. So that's what you have to work with here. And it is on the gallery for you to download and start building and turning it into whatever you want. If you have never done a shell challenge, it's basically do not touch the exterior walls, don't turn them into half walls or fences or anything like that, and obviously don't delete them or move them or drag them or anything, leave them how they are, but you can add walls inside for a floor plan and you can add fences outside for front and back porches and everything like that. I'm actually really satisfied with how this like roofing turned out. It literally, it looks like a normal home. Like it looks like it wasn't a difficult shell challenge or anything like that. So I'm hoping it's not that hard, but it is a little bit on the bigger side. It's like a medium size, but it took me a long time to finish it so it felt a little bigger and yeah as always just don't use any cc but all the packs are allowed you can change the wall height you can rotate the shell any way that you want you can do anything like that just don't touch the walls and what i did here i turned it into a family home i feel like i turned every single one into a family home but this like layout with the way that i roofed this and everything it was just screaming family home to me and i cut out so much of the exterior i cut out so much of this first part here because i just kept going back and forth i had no idea what i wanted but i think we kept the like light bright outside with the dark roof. And I also had to cut a lot out because I was streaming. We had a lot to talk about this day. So that is why it may feel like it jumps around a little bit, but I honestly feel like this is a more efficient way of doing a speed build rather than like me taking six hours of building and just speeding it up. Like I tried to cut out different parts that were of interest so that we can kind of move things along, right? But yeah, so tours for this shell will be on October 3rd and October 5th on my Twitch channel. Um, October 3rd is a Sunday and it is at 12 p.m. Eastern. So whatever time that is for you, it's my normal stream time. And then October 5th is a Tuesday and that will be at 5 p.m. Eastern, which is my normal time for Tuesdays as well. So last time we did two days of tours, both days were not full of tours. So please do the shell if you want and stop by. I tried to make the tour times time zone friendly to try and hit, you know, everywhere that we can. But shell tour streams are literally my favorite kind of streams because we all get to learn from each other. Like it's so fun, not just like for the person whose shell is being toured, but for everyone else, because we all are so different. We all have so many different creative ideas and being able to like bounce those off of each other and like learn how one person did one thing like it is absolutely my favorite types of streams so make sure you stop by i also may be touring them for a youtube video like that could be really really fun but for that video i'll probably just be highlighting like my favorite ones from the shell tour streams if that makes any sense and this also was the day that the base game update came out oh my gosh the massive base game update and i saw this counter swatch and i said we have to use this like we are using this in whatever build we do today like i will be using this counter swatch it is my new favorite counter swatch if you see me using it in every build from now on mind your business mind your business and i said before we had a lot to talk about on this stream and one was the update and then it also was my first stream back so you probably were like where is sarah been she hasn't uploaded since like the first week of the month and it's true it's true i have not i was dog sitting for about 10 days for my friend and i was like oh my god i'm gonna pre-record i'm gonna get so many videos done like i'm just gonna be like i wasn't even gone like all this stuff but no i've just had like a hundred things going on and just like i wanted to pre-record but all the video ideas that i have in my head right now take so much planning like the last when I posted that Instagram video took so much planning and so much editing. So my videos have been taking longer, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it definitely feels like it is because of like how often I see like a ton of other Sims creators pumping out the videos that are that same high quality that takes me hours to do. So basically the point is I have not forgotten about you. I am hoping to um, increase the amount of videos in the next coming months. I know we've been on like a one to two video a week kind of vibe for the last couple months or like three videos a week and then no videos for two weeks, but I definitely want to smooth out that schedule so that we're more reliable here, right? So yeah, that's what's up with the schedule. And back to the build here. So I really loved going with all these neutral tones that you see. And I wasn't sure we're moving on to the living area. And I wasn't sure if I wanted like that green couch that we had, or if I wanted to keep it like truly black, white, cream, gray neutrals that we had going for the rest of the house. But I really, really liked how the industrial loft like leather couch looked with this just sort of area and vibe. I really, really liked it. So we decided to do that. And I think it's a really nice area. And the only part of this house that I think is really weird is kind of like the laundry area, but you'll see that later. But yeah, I've been loving like just building recently. I have just have the, I have the building bug or whatever you'd call it. I've fluctuated from when I first started streaming, I was like solely just building. Like all I wanted to do was build. And then I did a little bit of gameplay. Then we just went back to building. And then we went back to gameplay with the not so berry challenge. And I was doing mostly just gameplay. 
and then my cottage core rags to riches like we did so much gameplay and then now I'm just wanting to build I just like have wanted to do nothing but build which is good considering my YouTube channel is mostly build themed now I will talk about the 100 baby challenge because you're probably like what about the 100 baby challenge I want that to come back I am planning on for that to come back I'm hoping this week or next week I'll be able to like sit down maybe even for like a full day of filming I don't care if I'm like sitting in front of the camera for like eight hours like I want to have a bunch of videos filmed because for me like actually having the motivation to sit down and film is the hardest part it's like to put on my makeup and like to get in the mindset of being ready to film that's like hard for me so that's why I want to just like get in the habit of just filming a ton of videos when I'm in the mood to film if that makes any sense but I miss the 100 baby challenge I want it to come back 100% I think we stopped playing it partly because the game was so glitchy and I'm sure not all of those glitches are patched out or if they are patched out there's new glitches so we will have to do our best we'll just have to do our best I think but I miss the Austin family they are so iconic we actually just did a little quick speed run of the 100 baby challenge for charity over on my twitch channel which was super super fun you might have seen me like post about that on the youtube community post but it made me miss the 100 baby challenge so I definitely want to bring that back Sarah builds the states I actually just had the thought today I was like oh I'll just do whatever the next most voted state was in the last poll that I did I'll probably do the rest of those and then we'll do a new poll I feel like that's a better system than doing a new poll for each video but the people on tiktok have been asking me like where's the states so what happened to the states where's the states when are you gonna finish the states like I will do it but I think what tiktok doesn't realize is that it took me over a year to build all of those states houses obviously not a year straight or a year you know of eight hours a day building but because I filmed them all for YouTube I edit them all for YouTube I want YouTube to have them exclusively for a little bit before I put them on TikTok it takes time for build to get from YouTube over to TikTok in terms of like these states builds and I posted like all 23 I think at that point of what I had been doing within like five days so people are like expecting three more builds every day but like I said my first love is YouTube I want YouTube to have the exclusivity of it first but TikTok has just been absolutely wild recently so I don't know if I've posted on here since then but we did hit 100k on TikTok which is super super fun I think we're at 122,000 now that is just mind-blowing especially for those that found my YouTube through TikTok thank you so much for being here leave me a comment down below you know I love when you all comment and I say this every single time but I know my biggest supporters are the ones that support me cross-platform so if you found me on TikTok and then come and watch my YouTube videos or if you found me on TikTok or you found me on YouTube and you also watch my Twitch streams like my heart explodes with love for everybody that does that because that is more than I could ever ask even if you just like scroll by my video and like drop a like like that is so iconic of you however I did post a video on I think it was Thursday or Friday or something of this last week where I was recreating a staircase from the Instagram account please hate these things my friend sent it to me and was like please build this stuff in the sims and I never knew about that Instagram account but so many people were like oh my god I love this account build more stuff yes 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 so I built this staircase that I guess are called witch stairs and were used in like the US Northeast or maybe also probably other places too because of the idea that a witch couldn't go up the stairs I had just called them the forbidden stairs but you can't do what the picture shows exactly in the sims and people were raging about it they were like oh my god you built this wrong you're so stupid how can you not see what you did wrong this is so stupid if you just move it up half a tile stop it right there stop it right there they're all like move it up half a tile now if you play the sims you know we can't put it it was a platform it wasn't like a piece of furniture that i was using i was using platforms and you know one platform one tile it can't move half tiles or anything like that but it was all these people who knew nothing about the sims just being like oh my god it's not that hard and i literally replied to one person i was like if it's not that hard you do it yourself and then you'd realize it's impossible and they were like well i don't have the sims and i'm like so there we go. So there we go. You answered your own question. But yeah, then people started going to my other videos. Like people just started like commenting hate stuff on my other videos. And it wasn't a ton. Like I was actually looking through the comments and I was like, it really wasn't a ton of people being so mean. But like when you have any amount of like hate or like negativity on your page, especially unnecessarily, it feels like it feels like it's the whole world against you. Like for some reason, what really got me was one person going to my other video just to comment, you're an idiot. And not even like Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. They just said, you are like the letter U, the letter R. And then I was like, you're probably in high school. I bet you'd haven't even passed 10th grade English, you know? Like, please do that before you go around calling people idiots. Like, ugh. So that was really upsetting for my fragile little mental state. <laughs> but I know it'll, it'll pass. That video will stop being pushed to people eventually and it'll pass. But I found it so interesting that this video was being pushed to the, if you don't recreate the staircase exactly in The Sims, I will cyber bully you side of TikTok. Whereas I did another Instagram inspiration recreation type thing and I didn't do it perfectly. Like I even was like, this doesn't really, 
really look good because I didn't do it perfectly in the game. And whenever that video got, you know, that video got millions of views, like, and people there were being so nice. They were like, oh my God, no, like that looked so good. Like yours looks even better. Like, what do you mean it's not perfect? It's literally perfect. And like, I'm just like, where, where are those people? Where are those people on my stair video? Stairgate is what I called it, Stairgate, which was derived from my friend Mike's term for lasagna gate when he made a video about the G being silent in lasagna. And then everyone got so mad about it because it's like not really silent But he was like, oh my god, it was just a joke But like they were like, oh my god, this stupid American and Mike was like, I'm not even American Sorry, that's not my story to tell But it's just an example of TikTok being absolutely wild And I'm just like, you would never say this to my face Like you are 12 years old probably Like please get off my page That's what's been happening over on TikTok I really did consider ending the please hate these things build series Like after one episode because that was the first episode of it I really considered ending it, canceling it You know, she didn't even get past the pilot Because of just how mad people got about that video but I was like you know what it's fine I still have so many fun ideas from that page so we're gonna keep it going and the people have liked the other ones honestly people like I did a barrel toilet thing I did a shower room and like every all the other ones that I've done people have been like wait I kind of like this so something made people really mad about the stairs and I don't know what it was maybe it was like something I did to put out negative energy and that negative energy was trying to come back to me I have no idea but it's over with now it is dying down now I literally got over 10,000 new followers from that one video so I'm not even I can't even be that mad about it like if it if what happened caused people to be a little mad and caused me a little mental distress but I still ended up with 10,000 plus new besties on TikTok then like not saying it was worth it but I'm saying that like you know it that, that it had a good side to it I've completely lost the plot of talking about the build so I'm sorry for that if you came here to hear me talk about the build but sometimes I'm like maybe people don't want to hear me talk about the build maybe they just want to sit and hear me talk and then the build is also there and I it's like a podcast what would you do if I started at a podcast to be honest I don't think I could do it I would get too off topic I I really tried to like even write myself a script for the speed build. I was like, talk about the shell, talk about the tours, talk about the build. Don't forget to talk about the build. Talk about how you were dog sitting and so you couldn't make videos. Talk about the build again. Don't forget to talk about the build. Talk about the TikTok drama. Talk about the stairs. And then it ends there because I didn't know where we'd be at. I'm currently watching the furnishing of the first bedroom and I used carpet in these rooms. People are gonna, people in my Twitch chat were like, what is American's obsession with carpet? And it's like, I'm not even that obsessed with carpet. I just wanted to do something different because I literally never used use carpet in my builds and I felt like it would be fine to use here. We kind of did two teen rooms and I actually made it like for like a streamer kind of kid or teen. Just fun. Like I literally made sure to put like fairy lights all along the back wall so that it would, you know, create a nice effect. Um, But I did want to talk about, I did want to ask people, this is a call to action. If you have video requests, video ideas, feel free to comment them down below because I have video ideas, but I want to make sure that what I'm doing is what you want to see. So if you want to see a specific type of video, let me know because that is so helpful to know what my audience wants to see so that I can provide that for you because I have all these ideas that I think would be so much fun but then I'm like what if people hate them what if people hate them how will I know I don't know let me know in the comments or if you want to join our discord server if you're not already I feel like I always talk about our discord server but we do have a specific suggestions for Sarah channel and yeah actually someone sent me their Pinterest board and was like do you want to build my like dream house based on my Pinterest board and do that for a video I think that would be really really super fun if you ever want to do that come on into the discord and let me know because I think that could be a fun series like building my subscribers dream home like I feel like that could be fun yeah 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 I also might do like a 10 minute build challenge or something else this week just to kind of make up for my lost videos of this month I've also considered doing a couple YouTube live streams I'm gonna keep it real and 100% honest I am considering partly switching or completely switching over to YouTube I just want to test out a YouTube stream and just see how it would go I want to see how different the UI is how different the like chat interaction is like I think that would be really fun Twitch does still have some features that I think are better than what YouTube has, but also I feel like YouTube might make a breakthrough in terms of like upping their streaming game. So we'll try that out. I also would like to do more TikTok lives. If you've been on my TikTok lives or if you've been uh, around on Twitch and hearing me talk about it, my issue with TikTok lives is that they don't let me stream from my PC. Like they're rolling that feature out very, very slowly, but I get so many people in my TikTok lives. It's so much fun. Like we're all chatting. We're just like a huge community vibe, like hang out. It is so, so much fun. And and I would love to not have to, you know, make my arm really tired by, cause it's me literally just holding my phone and like pointing it at my monitor while I play The Sims with one hand. Like it's not sustainable. Maybe if I had a tripod or something, but ideally I would just be able to stream from my PC. You've also probably seen me experimenting with YouTube shorts as well. Honestly, I'm just doing those to test them out. I just like wanna see what's out there. Cause I obviously get this huge reach on TikTok and I'm like, would that be the same on YouTube? I don't even know the rate of people that like watch YouTube shorts that come over and then watch long form videos. Like I don't, I don't know.
don't know all of that. So it's really just, it's just an experiment at this time. So if you see me posting YouTube shorts, just, I don't know, just, just say cool and maybe like it if you watch it. I don't know. But we are finishing up the end of the build here. And now I did basically everything. I did all the outside stuff off of stream, which is why it like kind of speeds right through. I feel like way more. Like I didn't cut anything out of these like last two parts because I was doing them off stream. So I was just totally focused when I'm on stream. I'm always taking, you know, time to talk to chat and everything like that. So um, I really like the back porch area that we did, except I could not figure out the table swatches. The perfect patio one, I was like, do we not have matching chairs? And like, this honestly might be a thing that everybody knew, but I didn't. I thought we had matching chairs and I guess we don't, but I definitely wanted to add a pool and just like good vibes all the way around. And I really like how this turned out because I did a little sunken fire pit. Now I did this in another build. I, I don't remember if it was a floor plan challenge or what. It, I did it over on Twitch and it was just like a really just fun, different kind of thing to do. And I like it a lot. It feels very nice and correct. I don't know. Maybe it's just because like, it's my personal dream to have a really nice yard with a fire pit. That is like the one thing I look for in a house. I'm like, does it have a nice yard and like a fire pit or, you know, opportunity for a fire pit? And yeah, I just threw in some finishing touches all around the rest of the house, including pool, pool floaties and all of that. But that is about it for the speed build. Let's jump in and take a super quick look at it in the game. So here it is from the outside. I honestly love the landscaping that I went with. I am going to be honest. This is a couch inside a couch. I don't know if it's functional, but it is cute. Here is the top down view of the house. It's not totally cluttered up. I kind of like that vibe anyway. It's definitely more cluttered in some spaces than others, but that's okay. This is the crafting area and the laundry area with a pet bed right there. And of course there's all the backyard. I know this sectional is so random, but I kind of like it up there. And then this is bedroom number one, bedroom number two, and the main bedroom and the bathrooms. And yeah, there it is. I hope you have so much fun with this shell. Again, and tours will be October 3rd at 12 p.m. Eastern and October 5th at 5 p.m. Eastern. I'd love for you to come hang out and watch the tours even if you don't do one of these yourself. It's always super fun, like I said. And as always, all my social links are down below if you wanna find me on other platforms. If you made it this far, comment beach tree because those are the trees I used outside the house. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!